In Advaita Vedanta and Jnana Yoga Nidhyasana Sanskrit, Nidhyasana is profound and repeated meditation on the Mahavakyas, great Upanishadic statements such as, "...that art thou," to realize the identity of Atman and Brahman. It is the fourth step in the training of a sisya disciple, consisting of preparatory practice, listening to the teachings as contained in the sruti, reflection on the teachings, and nidhyasana. Four stages of practice Nidhyasana is the final step in the correct understanding of the meaning of the Mahavakyas. Classical Advaita Vedanta emphasizes the path of jnana yoga, a progression of study and training to attain moksha. It consists of four stages Samanyasa or Sampatis, the fourfold discipline, Sadhana Kadastaya, cultivating the following four qualities, Nityanitya Vastu Viveka, Nityanitya Vastu Vivekam the ability Vivaka to correctly discriminate between the eternal Nitya substance Brahman and the substance that is transitory existence Anitya. Ihamatrartha Phala Boga Viraga Ihamatrartha Phala Boga Viragam the renunciation Viraga of enjoyments of objects Artha Phala Boga in this world IHA and the other worlds Amutra like heaven etc. Samadhi Satka Sampati Samadhi Satka Sampati the sixfold qualities Sama control of the antakarana. Dhamma the control of external sense organs. Uparati the cessation of these external organs so restrained, from the pursuit of objects other than that, or it may mean the abandonment of the prescribed works according to scriptural injunctions. Taitiksa the tolerating of tapatraya. Sraddha the faith in guru and Vedas. Samadhana the concentrating of the mind on God and guru. Mamuksatva Mamuksatvam the firm conviction that the nature of the world is misery and the intense longing for moksha release from the cycle of births and deaths. Sravana, listening to the teachings of the sages on the Upanishads and Advaita Vedanta, and studying the Vedantic texts, such as the Brahma Sutras. In this stage the student learns about the reality of Brahman and the identity of Atman. Manjana, the stage of reflection on the teachings. Nidhyasana, the stage of meditation on the truth. That art thou. Nidhyasana is a rational and cognitive process, which differs from dhyana meditation. It is necessary for gaining brahmajnana Atma brahmeti vakyarth nisena vikarai by a thorough analysis of Atman is Brahman. The direct knowledge, I am Brahman, is achieved Panchadasa 7.58. Nidhyasana done independently of sravana does not lead to the realization of the Atman. Explanation Topic. Advaita Vedanta Brihadaranyaka Upanishad 2, IV. 5 defines Nidhyasana as the meditation for the sake of direct vision. Yajnavakya tells his wife, Atma va ar drastavya shrotavio mantavio nididyasitavio maitrei atmano va ar darsanena sravanena matya vijnananatam sarvam viditam the self, my dear maitrei, should be realized, should be heard of, reflected on and meditated upon. By the realization of the self, my dear, through hearing, reflection and meditation, all this is known. Brihadaranyaka Upanishad Street 2, IV.5 Sankara explains nidhyasana as meditation with determination. Sankara states, Sruta satagunam vidyanmananam mananadapi nidhyasam laksagunam anantam nirvikalpakam reflection manyana is hundred times superior to listening sravana. Meditation nidhyasana is hundred times superior to reflection, nirvikalpaka samadhi is infinitely superior. According to Shursvara, nidhyasana is the culmination of the practice of sravana and manyana, which is an indirect intuition of Brahman and does not mean meditation but knowledge, i.e., understanding the meaning of the sruti on the basis of vakya vikaka relation underlying the Mahavakya. Shursvara states, Sastrakaryanubhavanarhatubhiska samarthita itirgaikatmayasabhadho nidhyasanamusayate nidhyasana is so called when, instruction about the uniqueness of the Atman is justified by proper reasons viz., the sruti, the instructions of teachers and one's own experience of the same. Nidhyasana consists in acquisition of vakirthanyana, and this verse explains the purport of sunasnata. According to Vikaspati, sravana, manyana, and nidhyasana are a chain of causes contributory to the knowledge of the oneness of Brahman. 
The Vivarna school considers sravana as the principal cause, but Shursvara treats sravana and manjana to be co existent. These two culminate into nidhyasana. Dvaita Vedanta According to Madhva the knowledge acquired by study and stabilized by reflection is made the basis of steady contemplation .These are the three stages of inquiry that take the form of dhyana. Radhakrishnan has defined nidhyasana as the process by which intellectual conscience is transformed into a vital one there is stillness, a calm in which the soul lays itself open to the divine. Neo-Vedanta According to Michael James, who gives an Advaita Vedanta interpretation of Ramana Maharshi, Ramana's self-enquiry is the same as Nidhyasana and Atma Vichara. See also Lectio Divina Notes Topic References Topic Sources Topic Printed Sources Topic Web Sources <references>